Welcome ladies and gentlemen to the ultimate miscreated gameplay experience If you were wondering what I've been doing all this time I'm basically dragging my whole base to another location so that me and my partner can um, Partner in crime we call ourselves the goof troop because um, yeah a lot of funny stuff happens when we're together so yeah I just I'm just moving my whole base um, to another location and um, there's a heck of a lot of metal parts it takes a very long time um, and yeah don't really want to go into the details I just you know I just want to basically give you guys an overview of a server that I've created with my you know with the five, six or seven years that I've spent with Miscreated. And the most important thing for me about a survival game is the PvE element of it. And Miscreated has always been lacking in that department for me personally. So what I've created is a server where all the PvE elements in the game can kill you if you are not prepared. If you are prepared then you can still die but it's much less likely that you'll die okay so yes um, in this year I am moving to new things but I thought you know I just give uh, mistrated a good send-off um, and then I'll never you know I'll never stop uploading but you know I'm done with guides and stuff like that I'll maybe just upload highlights here and there and um, but yes in the comments down below if you if you guys want one last guide um, focused on my server okay um, then just let me know down in the comments just you know, just type guide in the comments um, and I'll give you you know my final guide on the server so that you prepare okay um, now starting at PvE threats on my server is storms. Okay, so um, previously my server was extremely dangerous, extremely hardcore, but I am tweaking it constantly. So the first thing that I did is my storms used to last double the amount of time that you know it usually lasts to just make sure you know you're you can you're dead. And you can die again <laughs> just to make it um, as immersive as possible but I changed the time back to normal time and as you guys can see even with acid rain I have fine-tuned the settings of every single storm so that if you don't have the right equipment on you you will die okay like acid acid rain if you're caught outside um, you know and your map awareness isn't too good you're gonna die um, and I've been busy with the server probably for two years, um, fine-tuning it, you know, making small changes constantly. Um, and I'm almost at the point where I'm extremely, extremely happy with um, the, re you know, with the final result that I'm at, which, you know, uh, makes me happy that I can always fall back on my server and then move on to other projects um, this year. That I'm passionate about so yeah as you can see even in two and a half minutes with gear on and my I had 13% acid rain resistance I still could have died if I didn't get into cover uh, fast enough the second one is of course the radiation storm and never mind the lines you know or how the sky looks linear um, it's because i'm playing at 2k resolution at the moment so i just needed to lower my smaa um, yeah, the game doesn't look like this unless you're playing at 1440p and then you can just put your smaa to disabled or just smaa and it won't do any funny business but yes um, the radiation storm has always been a big thing for me and of course it gives you a warning so um, you've got two and a half minutes to prepare for it now you know since the since miscreated has brought out storms people have left the server you know you know like exit the game when they see a storm coming and that's always an option but for us true survival fans you know 
that is what makes um, a survival game immersive and challenging and a survival experience. The only reason why it's called a survival game is because the point of the game is to survive. And the only way you can survive is if there's a lot of elements that are trying to kill you. Okay? If it's just people trying to kill you, which um, that is what official servers were basically all about, then it's not a survival game, it's a battle royal or it's a you know, first person shooter. So survival is all about different elements that you have to survive. Um, and the storms are a very, very big part of it. As you can see, again, even in two and a half minutes, okay, you can still die. Of course, there's various ways to um, counter a storm. You know, you can get a gas mask. Um, yeah, you can get a gas mask and the gas canister pack. Yeah, the gas mask and the gas canister pack gives you complete protection, but a house will help you. Um, any underground shelter, like I showed you there, can help you. And then one thing that I spent a lot of time on is the is the coldness. Okay, so a nuclear storm will of course kill you <clears throat> if you're not prepared. the The main thing that you guys must focus on when it comes to coldness is getting wet. Okay, it's not so much the coldness of the environment; it's when your body gets wet, you lose your cold resistance, and that's what makes temperature dangerous or cold. You know, um, the coldness dangerous you must create it is as soon as you get wet you lose your cold re your cold resistance okay so if you think um, you know if you feel you're dying too much from cold just remember even if you get undercover that will change your um, you will become dry slowly but surely your wetness you know your wetness will reduce and your cold resistance will get back up and counter to belief, the furnace and the big fireplace that you can build in your base does not heat you up. Okay, so if you're dying from from any kind of cold storm, the this uh, barbecue here, and then the fireplace that you can make yourself, and then you know fire drums. But I mean, if you want to stay warm inside your base, you need you know a fireplace, or if you want to sit inside a tent, you know you need a fireplace. Um, the, even the snow. Um, the snow can kill you when you refresh spawn, okay? But if you just put on a jersey, if you just put some some kind of warm clothing on, I have fine-tuned it so that you will be able to survive it. Will you get cold? Yes, but you won't die, okay? So with normal snow, just remember, nighttime goes, um, goes by faster than daytime, okay? At the moment, my daytime is about four hours... Four and a half hours, and my night time is about one and a half hours. Okay, it's on a um, so it's two six-hour cycles, and then the server restarts every twelve hours. But yes, snow basically, you know, just warm wear, um, wear warm clothing. I've done, I did a hundred tests on it, you know, with different clothing on, and you know, if you just get some kind of clothing, you'll do fine. If you don't have, you know, any kind of better clothing, get into a house or get into cover, you know. Or get a heat pack and then of course after snow there's always a chance of a blizzard storm um, it's very lethal um, you will see now when I get into the tent I am I have got it I am am dressed appropriately for the snow but the blizzard is still killing me okay so when it comes to a blizzard you need a heat pack with um, great clothing um, to survive a blizzard okay but the rest of the weathers are fine and yes the weather definitely makes miscreated great um it's something that i really missed after the first time they nerfed the radiation storm just when it came to the game and what makes miscreated great is that with a bit of work it took me quite a, it took me quite a bit longer than anyone i knew you know to get it right but yes, you can create your own kind of server. And then the second thread, of course, are mutants, okay? Now, yeah, I'm just leading a brute away, but you, you can hear that sound. And yes, the brute on my server is the most dangerous mutant you get because he's the fastest and he hits the hardest. 
all mutants on my server do three times as much damage and they can catch you okay um from the nor like a normal crazy will you know will catch you very slowly the more deadly the the mutant looks you know the faster you'll be able to catch you and of course the brute can catch you the fastest does that make um tactical play very very important in the beginning yes but as you can see as soon as you get a quad or a vehicle um you know then that isn't such a big factor anymore and on my server quads despawn every um little more than a day okay so instead of six hours where you'll always lose your quad if you want a quad you must just log in every day then you've got your little um tow cars at the at the airfield which nobody really wants to use because they open um i did make them faster with a few tests but i thought to myself you know um that's also good for new players you can use the tow car you know to drag metal parts to your base you know, or just have some kind of transport, which is nice. So, um, they're not as slow as they are on official servers. They're a bit faster, and they've got a little bit of a turbo, okay? Um, all the all the vehicles that are open have got a small realistic turbo. It's not, you know, the, the vehicles aren't extremely fast like on other servers. Everything is focused on realism and immersion. So, um, I've done small tweaks to the vehicles, like the semi-truck and the five-tonner is a bit faster than on official. Um, the two armor trucks are definitely the, the go-tos, okay? Um, the two vehicles that you want to have, because the two armor trucks are just as fast as um, a quad, and you can boost them to be as fast as a police vehicle. And as you can clearly see, guys, the mutants are faster. But when you're equipped, when you're, you know, when your hard work pays off, then you're ready for them, okay? Are they faster? Yes. They're supposed to be a threat. Think about I am legend, okay? As soon as that thing's on top of you, you can't think you can shoot him, you know? Uh, Miscreated has, has this thing where the mutants slide past you sometimes. And... Um, but don't think that's yeah, that's frustrating, brothers, brothers, okay? Brothers. And here's just a funny moment with me and Anthony. Drop it, brother! Go! Tell me when you're in! Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. Reverse, reverse, Where reverse! <laughs> get a distance, get a distance, I'm gonna fuck him up, get a distance. Okay, stop. Sorry, I had to reload. I was getting scared. Ah, oh, this motherfucker just had five flare rounds on him. That's bullshit. Okay. <laughs> See. Motherfucker. Fucking course he spits at me. 
I've got, I've got, I've got antibiotics for you. Oh, he didn't, uh, he got me, but he didn't, uh... Okay, we're just gonna operate the generator quickly to get into the bunker. Um, one more thing, guys. Um, my server has got everything that both maps have. Okay, you can get the alien gear, you can get the scavenger gear, you can get all, you can get the sheriff SUV, you can get the beetle. Um, so all the vehicles and all the items that you get on Canyonlands, you can get on this um, map as well, okay? And uh, that footage is not too old, but like I said, I'm making changes constantly. And one thing that bothers me is when it's easy to find suppressors. The reason I say it bothers me is because you don't really feel the fights. You know, you don't hear the bullets coming past, you don't, you don't feel the, the impact of a fight. So what, what I basically did is I removed the suppressors from the unique drops, which I will show you shortly, and I added them to hiding places, okay? Now, you won't always get a, um, a suppressor, a pistol suppressor or a rifle suppressor in a hiding spot. There's a percentage chance of getting, um, you know, like five important items from a hiding, from a hiding spot. But the main focus of the hiding spots at the moment are to find suppressors, which motivates you to explore the map. So at the moment, the suppressors are almost like metal parts, okay? You need to run across the map constantly and look for hiding spots. And if you want to know where hiding spots are, they basically, in every painting, it's, it's possible to find a hiding spot in a bent mattress, a painting, a light, socket you know pot plant all the decorations um, in the world and in the houses could be a hiding spot so just make sure you scan the area constantly this is just a fun way for me to get up to stairway to hope memorial and these pot plants also have um hiding spots in them not this time but i thought i'd just show you if you guys thought there's no reason to come up here this place has got a hiding spot and on my server you've always got a 20% chance to find a pistol suppressor in a small hiding spot and then a rifle suppressor in a, a large hiding spot. And then, of course, the, the suppressors are still rare, but you can still find them in the world, you know, as normal. But I think it was a good idea um, to take the suppressors out of the shops and I basically remove the suppressors now from the drops because I've got unique drops um that are really really cool but um i added the suppressors to those unique drops and you know because the server is quiet and not a, not very populated um, it's easy for a person to be alone on the server so everything that you usually go in the game you can get in, you can get on my server as well so oh, you're gonna have to go there will a always be a christmas them. drop a christmas drop i have edited to, to have this kind of loot first. in it now, although this looks insane, you must remember that these drops percentages are extremely low, okay? Um, it's like 2% because you've got a 40% chance of an airplane crash and a 60% chance of an airdrop, but then, you know, um, you've only got a 4% chance of any of the really cool drops to occur, like the C4 drop, um, this Christmas drop, the alien, you know, the alien drop, um, and the two unique drops, um, which I've added as well. So, yes, I have edited these drops to be a, lo a lot cooler. You know, even if you think they are cool now, I have changed them to be a lot cooler. The alien drop, I have also changed. And I added a Hershey bar to the alien drop. Now, I don't know how many of you are familiar with Miscreated, but the Hershey bar was like in the rarest item that you could find in the game and through my 3000 hours i don't think i've ever found a hershey bar or even maybe i found one and i didn't even know it but at the moment i'm trying to see if i can edit um at, yeah there's a 10 percent chance to find a hershey bar in an alien drop and you can sell that hershey bar for a thousand m coins and then you'll get a lot of food and water from the Hershey bar as well. Okay, it's like an alien chocolate or whatever the case may be. 
but there's only a 10% chance to find it in either of the crates. So you can calculate that, you know, 40% for the airplane crash, 60% for the drop, and then another 4% for the alien, and then another 10% to find a Hershey bar in it. Okay, so that's like a lucky packet. And I'll see if I can um, find the golden ticket, because if you open the Hershey bar, you're supposed to find a golden ticket. And I'll see if I can find the golden ticket in the in the files, you know, in the modding files, to maybe make it so that you can sell the ticket and you can eat the Hershey bar. Okay, but for now you can eat the Hershey bar, and before it's done, you can sell it for a thousand M coins. You know, so it's like a big treasure that you can get with the uh, with the alien drop. One thing that you will see is that every drop has got a certain amount of M coins. Now this is definitely not easy mode. Okay, because everything on this server costs a lot more money. Okay, the the prices at the trader is quite high, and then my the crafting section has got an Iron Suns network where you can buy absolutely everything. You know, you can buy C4 for 500 M coins. You can buy um, rocket launcher rounds. Okay, on on our, on my server, I call them rocket launcher rounds, and you'll see that at the end of the video. Um, but grenade launch rounds you can f you can buy for 500 m coins or i think at the moment you can buy c4 for 500 m coins but you ha you have to and i think you can um, craft and buy the grenade launch rounds okay so it's up to you and then yes one thing that has definitely frustrated me with um, quads, like I said, I added realistic boost to them, okay? Doesn't make them extremely overpowered, it just, it's just a lot more quality of life, okay? So that a quad handles like a quad is supposed to handle in real life, you know, that it's got power up a hill and stuff like that. I don't mind the quad falling over and sliding down the hill, you know? On a quad you can wipe out very, very easily, especially if you're on a steep hill like this going sideways. But yes, the here I'm just testing the boosts and um, strength. So there's various places where you know at normal speed you won't be able to get up here. But then you know I'm pressing the shift key to just give it that extra little boost. So yeah, all the all the vehicles that are open that 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 are risk to drive because they open at the top, which is the buggy, the quad, and the tow car, has got small boosts. Um, basically just the buggy and the and the quad has got boosts to make it really fun for you to drive them um, and then the the sheriff SUV um, is just a little bit slower than the police car because it was a lot slower than the police car so I just buffed the um, SUVs a bit and yes guys um, as you can see with the drops doesn't matter how bad it goes with you you can still be fully geared with one drop okay the c4s do double damage but um you know i've spoken um with um with the community and you know if i go through the numbers you'll understand that it's still more difficult you know to raid someone than it was before they made the changes okay the resources and all that stuff i'm not going to go through that again the c4 does double damage um so there's no safety on this server okay the main pro the main focus of the server is survival fun and immersion okay and interaction i don't want anyone to sit in their base and feel safe but losing your gear will not be the end of the world because it is you know um everything you do will reward you if you if you hunt deers you know you'll get 10 m coins from three deer pals if you if you hunt um wolves you get 15 m coins you know if you hunt bears you'll get 20 m coins if you get alcohol you'll sell you'll be able to sell the alcohol for a lot if you find any many kind of medication you'll be able to sell that for quite a lot so everything rewards you in this game so getting back to your feet is a lot easier but you know um surviving is also a lot harder and protecting your base is also a lot harder okay so there's no idle gameplay here the server is complete action um, i'm on the server um, with anthony avengers on the server with charm and avengers basically the negan of the server okay so you get a bad guy automatically when you join the server okay because avenger 
is definitely um, someone that will put you through a lot of stress. Okay, he's non-stop. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed it, guys. And yes, um, in the next episode, I will show you one of the funniest raids um, that I've done in a long time. This was just to sh to show you guys the grenade launcher, which I have turned into a rocket launcher. What I mean by rocket launcher is it does the same amount of damage as C4, but it gives you a it gives you a much you know, a much more fun option um, of raiding because the C4 you know um, got a bit boring. So it definitely gives a solo player. Yep. Um, a lot more opportunity, you know, to take on clans. You can take out a vehicle very easily. Um, you know, the rocket the rocket has got nice splash damage. And guys, if you think these rockets are cheap, cheap um, in the next video, I'll show you the raid um, where we laugh our ass off and, you know, make a heck of a lot of mistakes. But we farm for two weeks um, for these. You know, for these rockets and the C4 yep. that we used here. He's open the door. Um, and at the end of the day, you know, no, no one is safe. But you're going to have to do the work. And the more people that join the server, the more difficult it will be to get these resources. To get, you know, to get the drops. To farm, you know. Um, the more people die, the longer it will take okay, to get these resources. The reason why we're getting the resources quite easily at the moment is because or because there's so little people you know so a lot of the times only one or two people on the server so it's easy to get the drops it's easy to loot you know without any fear but once the server falls up you know i i really really feel it will be the best experience um you know the ultimate the ultimate mistreated gameplay experience so if you want to see this entire raid from start to finish Click that sub button and bell button and she's definitely in and base, to be notified of my next video. Put, and yeah, hopefully you can laugh with me. There she goes. But yes, guys, out. you know, she's looking out your way. I'm always just trying she's to make the game going better, going and we're gonna finish this with a bang. Okay? We're definitely right, gonna better. sign Miscreated off um, with a lot of exciting content. See you guys later. Thank you for spending this time with me.